Well, you can see there are thousands and thousands of nurses that are out on strike. It's the first time ever they are from the Royal College of Nursing. We are here outside St. Thomas's Hospital in the heart uh, of Westminster, which is actually moments away from Downing Street. They are shouting so loudly that possibly the Prime Minister can hear them from here. They are really unhappy. There were last-ditch minute talks between the Secretary General of the RCN on Monday with the Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, and those completely failed. He would not discuss pay. He would only talk uh, about conditions. So they were extremely unhappy. They want a 19%. Can you not stand in the shop, please? They were a 19% pay rise, um, and the government said, and the Prime Minister says that's absolutely not affordable, it's not realistic. So uh, there is really a deadlock and there's already another strike date that is planned. That is the 20th of December next Tuesday. Um, and the Labour Party is saying that this is a complete badge, this is a complete badge of shame, uh, really, of the government and uh, that there should be money on the table. So real unhappiness here because all the government really wants these nurses to accept is a 4% pay rise. When you know that inflation is around 11%, you can understand that there is a real challenge for these nurses to actually be paying their bills. Right, and we, and we can see from behind you, Benedict, all that's been happening there in London today. Obviously, this is a first for the NHS, but it's not the only strike that's on this month there in Britain. Is there any resolution for any of this in sight? Not looking like it. This is really a, a winter of discontent. Now, I say winter because we are in winter. This morning we had minus five when we arrived here. It's now zero degrees. Actually, there's a local hotel bringing pizzas. This is a really coffees. It's extraordinary to see the level of support and we see that reflected in the polls. I think the government have picked a very serious fight with these nurses. But you're right, there are lots of other strikes. Uh, since June, uh, we've had rail strikes. Those will continue into the 9th of January. We've got lecturers at universities uh, who are also striking, ambulance men, border force, uh, postal strikes. This is really uh, almost a general strike all but name. The government really thinks this has become very political and they are adamant uh, that the, really in the public sector there must not be a more than 4 or 5 percent uh, rise, pay rise. So deadlock in sight, more strikes in sight, uh, people being told that they shouldn't really think of travelling at Christmas when they all want to go and see their families, that they shouldn't really, they should have posted their Christmas cards a while ago if they really want them to arrive on time. So all these strikes and real problems for people as bills rise here as they do across the world uh, in electricity and gas and real challenges for, for people. But no, no resolution in sight, just more strikes for the moment in sight and a deadlock between the government and really public sector workers.